So you're you're Chinese. Oh, the Chinese Bulgarian. And you said Chinese is like your favorite Sif. I see that. Okay, straight off the bat, before I even enter this game. I don't know how good 1200s, 1300s, 1400s are these days, but I get a suspicion that Chinese is a trickier sieve to use at the start, so I'm hoping, since you like to use the sieve, that you're able to get the efficiency out of it by keeping that TC not idle. So you're like 1280 right now. Oh shoot, I hit the wrong button. Chinese Bulgarians. <clears throat> okay, usually whenever I like to look at games, guys, I, just, I don't really like to look just for, for the first run. Sometimes I actually watch it twice. <clears throat> I don't like looking at the opponent just because I just want to see the game through your eyes. That's a really good start so far for Chinese. <clears throat> okay, good job, man. I was actually a little bit worried that maybe you'd, you know, screw up the start with uh, some idle time. <sighs> Hopefully you don't get housed. Uh, you might be missing out on a force drop right now. I know you're 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 good. You're good. Wait. I just for Chinese it's it's very important to make sure your your sheep are not tight along here just because it might be a little bit more crowded. Maybe you might move it, but <clears throat> I'd immediately get this sheep on this side just because uh Chinese you need to make sure your villagers are as efficient as possible since the struggle for fifty food is always gonna be annoying. But that wasn't too bad of a spot. That's fine. You got a pretty good map. You got gold in the back. This is actually a really good map. I don't know how Arabians are spawning these days, but I, I like the map. <laughs> Another thing with Chinese too is because your your resources can be a little bit... Uh, you go through food a lot quicker. I'd advise finding all your sheep first before you do the first deer push. Some, you know, I actually push deer really fast myself, but <clears throat> I think the correct way would be to find all your sheep first because you don't want those sheep stolen. Deers can't be stolen. Uh, sheep can. I think you're missing two. And like I said, Chinese is a sieve that you um, you need you need as all, all as much food as you can get because you burn through it so fast. <clears throat> for this house right here, I think I'd rather have, uh, uh, <clears throat> see these berries are going to be exposed to a drush. I think I'd it'd probably be better off to, when you go for your walls, to maybe get them a little bit bigger. I'd put the house there and work, you know, eventually work your way here. Just because these are going to be, berries are going to be a nuisance for when a drush comes in. You're not, we'll see what happens. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to maybe cave this in with this house, which is not a bad idea. In fact, that's probably still fine, but it's just an awkward, awkward area. Anyways, these are just minor details. Everything you've been doing so far is actually really, really good. Just missing those two, two sheep. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, maybe, I was going to say make sure you get berries now because <clears throat> this is a bit too overloaded on uh, on boar. You're having a bit of an eco. Uh, it's weighing in a little bit too much here on the boar. And I wouldn't get any more on here. The last thing you want is um, to finish this and have those wheels standing around. 1300, and this is really good. Like, you're doing really good for us. Like, jeez. And you got a house, like, sort of where I had mentioned earlier. Fantastic. Really good timing on your boar. Yikes, man. Love in the Dark Age. You're killing it. <laughs> Five on berries? Yeah, keep in mind, too, that the reason why we go two and two aside is because the chance... I, I don't know what pathing's like these days. I still stick with two and two aside. Um, <clears throat> depends on what angle your your mill is at, but typically if you have three on one side, the chances are going to be higher for the 
the middle vill to, to freeze up and bug. So that's sort of where the idea behind two vills per side has come from because it's the most efficient. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to bug. I can't see from this angle. Chinese though <clears throat> is a sieve where maybe you do want to go five. It just depends on how you place your mill uh, and how the berries spawn on the map. Pushing a lot of deer, the only thing that you want to take into account now is your enemy's sieve. You're not getting any scouting done. Bulgarians, you can probably guess, there's a good chance they're going to go f make use of their sieve bonus, which is man-at-arms. <clears throat> but I'd still recommend to, you know, get scouting either way. I guess you could kind of make the guess that they're going. A good strat to do against this, <clears throat> being Chinese, is... Um, it's a bit difficult the wall here, but going straight into archers, a very, very quick up. Like you're, like, I wonder if you could have clicked up. No, no, I don't think you could have clicked up. But straight range against um, against uh, those man at arms can work. It just depends on how you can you can wall in your bills and stuff. <clears throat> but really good start. Chinese is going to be another sieve where I'd recommend. Around this elo, I do. There's like a, a tendency for. People just to go one lumber camp. Again, I don't recommend that. You should you should be going two, especially with Chinese because you have a lot more villagers. So uh -huh. this may be seven vills. I think I would have kept it at maybe five or six. So this is too much on. Wait. You gotta go. You gotta go for that extra. You gotta get that second lumber camp in. There's just too many vills with Chinese. <laughs> it's just too much on one lumber camp. <clears throat> You're gonna just lose some efficiency. Worst case scenario, you have got so many vills. Put five here, maybe five here. And if you feel that your wood's a little bit off, just, you know, you can always, this is what stragglers are really, really good for, is to kind of balance, rebalance your eco and kind of uh, boost your, like this sheep right here, what I would have done is, I probably would have had maybe four vills on another lumber camp. Obviously, uh, the sheep would try not to kill yet. I'd grab these three vills and chop a little bit of wood. So that way you can, you can kind of... Uh, <clears throat> Because you've spent wood on two lumber camps, you're going to be just a tad bit lower on wood, but um, you could probably give it a little boost by using those stragglers. And again, like I said, you're up against Bulgarians. You're probably going to be up against man at arms I guess you're going scouts. But not getting wood for staple. <clears throat> yeah, I, I understand that, but trust me, I think with how your good your Dark Age has been so far, I really do think you could get two lumber camps out and just... Um, <clears throat> You push so many deer, you know, if you just had that one sheep alive, I really do think you'd get, you should be able to get two lumber camps and a stable up. And then just make sure to just use your stragglers if you need to, to quickly get, get that little boost in the wood. But yeah, so so I think maybe the takeaway so far is aim for that second lumber camp. <clears throat> Wait. So this is a little risky here too, like maybe you'll get away with it, but get up against Bulgarians, like, again, like I said, this Civ, chances are it could be man-at-arms, this is your right where you'd see a scout and three man-at-arms roll in and that veil would probably be dead, but I think you might get away with it here. Ooh, you're doing a bit of a switch up here. See, so this is already a bit of a mistake here. Your, your whole Dark Age was set up for scouts. So you kind of needed to commit to scouts, I think. You seem like you're, like you did a quick switch to archers. This shouldn't be a surprise here. You're kind of expecting man at arms from Bulgarians, or you should be scouting a little bit more to to figure that out. But this quick switch is already setting you behind a bit. In a higher level game, it would it's probably really gonna mess you up because you, you you're not collecting the gold. You kind of want to be on gold by now. Um, so this is sort of the first thing. This guy's they're giving you units anyways. This bad boy here, <clears throat> when people go man and arm scouts, chances are high they're going to follow up with the range. So this scout needs to be doing something. He either needs to be back here helping, or you're going to patrol him here because uh, people usually follow up with a range and they will usually um, send like archers or skirms sometimes one by one. I don't know if they'll do it at this level, but that's when you can pick them off with your scout. Yeah, you're gonna pump with the archer uh, seats are a little bit um right here though uh i hope we're probably throwing too much information at you you're gonna want to get horse collar <clears throat> chinese is a sieve where 
you should be able to get away with your upgrades because they get cheaper upgrades. Um, so Chinese, if there's any sieve, a lot of sieves you can maybe skip horse collar here and there, but Chinese is one of those sieves where you should be able to get away with both your eco upgrades. So he's already kind of done a lot to you here. I'm just trying to think. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think so far it's just the approach. I, I think you're surprised when maybe you shouldn't be surprised. So you got to do two, two things. One of two things. You just got to kind of understand what he's going to go by looking at the sieb, or you just have to scout a little bit better, so that way you know what's coming. Because the, like I said, uh, this quick switch to a range. This has already set you behind. So you got to commit to one thing or the other. You were set up for a stable. You probably should have just stuck with the stable. Now you're getting the horse collar now. Unfortunately, the food bonus won't apply for that farm, but I think you'll get it for this one. Which is fine. <clears throat> good, you're getting gold. Yeah, that's good, and you can finish walling that off. You know, you didn't lose any vills. You're not... <clears throat> Not too far off, but unfortunately, the EU is just a bit of an eco balance thing here now. Because you're building skirms now, these are units you don't want right now at all. They're sort of a. This is a very inefficient army. You don't want skirms at this point. You just want it to be a clean archer army. Um, because this will affect your uptime at this moment. Kind of expect M MAA, but messed up with the build. Oh, gotcha. Did you? Okay, well, yeah, you gotta be. You gotta throw two. Typically, if you're gonna go range, you're gonna throw two vills on a mining camp and then maybe wall them in. Wall them in. <clears throat> and then you're gonna go straight archer. Adding the skirms is gonna set you behind. Um, but you might be alright here. Skirms from a sudden. Get many archers. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but then you still have an option just to switch over to scouts if you if you need to. But again, uh, this scout though it just kind of came back. You kind of want to see his. Okay, the fact that you said you're expecting skirms, but again, you got to keep using your scout. So constantly use it so that way you can see what's coming next. Got to get that fletching in. <clears throat> With this many on gold, you'll probably want to get a, get a second range up because your your gold is gonna you're gonna really boost. So this is where you're going to start seeing sort of a wood inefficiency with just one lumber camp. So now you've tossed a lot on, <clears throat> a lot on farms, a lot on gold. You're going to be a little bit low on wood now, but it is setting you up for maybe a quicker, quicker castle. So you saw two scouts, that, I think that was it. I, I think, um, yeah, I guess sitting at home is okay if you're about to go up soon, which is fine. He will win. He will win. Keep scouting constantly. <clears throat> you know he has scouts, now you want to figure out if he's following up with a range. Other lumber camp would have paid off by now? Absolutely. Big, big, big time. Uh, right now, what I would do if I were you, I'd delete that that um, <clears throat> that farm and build a market. I think at this elo, you could probably... I, I don't encourage abusing the market all the time, but... Um, <clears throat> 
it's not a terrible thing either. I'd throw up a market because right now you're either a market or delete the farm, grab him, and you grab these guys like that. <clears throat> Maybe one less and build a lumber camp right there because you're going to have a little bit of a eco, eco imbalance here. Scouts. <coughs> so as a recommendation, if I if I was in this spot, I'd probably pump out a spear. He just got scouts. <coughs> I'd go forward. I'd try and do some damage with this army, and then I'd throw up two stables because Bulgarians not really going to be any archers, right? Bulgarians is just, sometimes can be a little bit more of like a <coughs> YOLO type civ with all in knights, so. I think the key here is just throw up two stables. Not another range. I don't think that's the right way to go, but I think you'll be okay. These are right. <clears throat> so again, you got to think of the sieve. Usually, it's two stable knights, um, and plus you got so much farm eco and so much on gold that uh, your transition to archers just. I think, I, I think you need to spend this army. Yeah, because it's a quicker up time for him. Um, go forward earlier and then use up this army with a spear and then you transition into your stables. <clears throat> so you're kind of building sort of all sorts of things now. No, uh, Lord Doubt, I'm just, um, just doing it. Just a little switch up on the stream so I don't... You know, don't always have to be playing. Um, <clears throat> I think just a huge takeaway if you don't get anything from this, just in case, is just to make sure you're always using your scout. Make sure you're always seeing what's coming next, because this scout is worth gold, right? Like, when you lose a scout earlier on, I feel like the game's already over. <clears throat> Use this scout a lot, lot more. Put him on stand ground and then send him forward and, you know, instead of always guessing, oh, I thought he was going skirms, oh, I thought he was whatever. Those are sort of things maybe you could say if you had no scout, but you have a scout this game, so make sure you're always using that thing non, non, non-stop. Um, just a lot of waiting around, waiting for him to do the first move. You have no idea what's coming. Tend to use select all military units too much, so my scout keep coming back. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I'd recommend probably trying to work on not doing that, and I guess if it's going to stop you from using your scout. What you're doing right now is fine, you know, it's sort of what you would want to be doing, but judging from the score, he's probably most likely got military unless he's scouting a bit more, but. Oh man, <clears throat> I feel like you could just get cleaned up by knights right now if he's if he's building them, because you have no idea what's coming. Again, keep in mind, like, what is Bulgarians really gonna do? Camels is your best friend. Chinese, I think, is probably a pretty good sieve against. Um... Why is he going monks? Gosh, man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I think this is probably where I stop now because I don't know if anything else I say is going to be helpful at this point. <clears throat> I like to kind of figure out more so Dark Age, Feudal Age, beginning a castle because sometimes I feel like in these games the opponent isn't really doing the things that they're supposed to be doing anyways. So, you know, telling you what to do or advising things, it's just I just think is going to only be so like relatable to just this one game which wouldn't be helpful for you in the future <clears throat> so if I could just recap because I just don't know if it's be very helpful um, what do you mean? from here on um, <clears throat> uh, look at the the sieve kind of expect what's coming um, the Dark Age and the Feudal Age, you already f fell behind by 
having an eco that looked perfect for scouts, but then going archers. So try and commit to one thing or the other. If you're going to go archers, I think you probably know this too. Maybe something just happened. Um, yo, Luki, thank you for the resub. <clears throat> if you're going to go archers, uh, two bills on gold, wall them in, and then you slowly... Some capture rage going <laughs> yeah, thank you, Luki. Uh, and then <clears throat> pump out the archers and you got your bills wall walled in. The other thing I think would probably be huge for you is I know you probably don't like it because it's a bit of a leap of faith. It's building that second lumber camp in Dark Age. You just build one. But get that. Figure out a way where you can get two lumber camps. You have to. I'm telling you this right now. Do it, okay? <clears throat> At least take that away from this along with the scouting. Those two things. Because I think any more and maybe you might be overloaded. But... Get your eco in a way where you set up two lumber camps. You say, oh, I might not be able to get a stable up, but there's a way you can do it. Just make sure you use your stragglers around the TC. But make sure you got five bills maybe on the new lumber camp and maybe five bills on the old at least. <clears throat> and that, that will help your eco in the long run. Um... I, I get it. Some people might be scared. Oh, yeah, I might not have enough for that military building or whatever. But especially with Chinese, your eco is just so good. You got you got to get that second lumber camp up. The only time you only do one is like <coughs> if you're going to go like some 20 pop up man in arms and they're very fast range or range or something like that. So, yeah, I got to get that second lumber camp up. Chinese, you should be able to get away with both your eco upgrades because they're cheaper. If you have a really good dark age. And um, make sure you're using your scout uh, in, instead of guessing. Um, once you push your deer, maybe just stick to no more than, with Chinese, maybe no more than three deer. I know that's already a lot, but it's Chinese is awesome if you can push deer. Um, maybe less, actually. Scouting might be a bit more important than you think. And just make sure you scout. Yeah, You need to see what's coming. You don't want it to be a guessing game. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch this out a little bit, but again, like I said, from here on, I don't think there's anything I'm going to say that's going to be very helpful. Besides, like, the basics, like, Bosaw, for example. I figured that maybe this is something you'd forget since it's not lit up light green. You don't have it yet. Again, <clears throat> it's very, very important. <clears throat> maybe make it a habit that before you add your second TC, that just make sure, take a second and just this could just be a one-off just one game you forgot bosaw right but just uh think eco upgrades over maybe your second tc i i don't know what the heck yellow's doing uh <laughs> But let's just let's just treat this game seriously still. Let's just pretend you got here somehow and you guys have done everything correctly. Um, this would be a great time to start mining stone with your position because you can lock in his two front golds. You're, you're getting the TC up on it, which is good. But... If you don't mind, I'd, I'd actually rather take a look at your second game now. I'm going to zoom ahead now. tricky here it looks like he got away with a greedy boom and just sort of mangonel defense again i think that might be a bit more uh, right now it may not be necessarily where you're making the mistake <clears throat> the mistake may be the fact that he's got castle a castle here and, and this crypt post here so this mistake maybe happened earlier which was an army sitting here <clears throat> kind of waiting what to do and not sanding it yet and being super passive and sometimes when you're being so passive like that it's probably because like you said you were concerned 
as to what was going on with him. And that's where scouting comes in big, big time. Use that scout. It's worth gold. So <clears throat> the mistake's not happening now. It happened earlier. He got these things up, which secured his boom. He literally did no army um, and got away with it. And you went army. So, but it didn't really get the damage done. So you got to figure out why did that happen? Well, it happened because, well, he got this castle up and he got this up. Um, <clears throat> so if you were to look back on this, you would go, well, when was the critical time to use my army? And then when you look at the recording, you can kind of figure it out. Oh, it was when I hit castle age and I had army for five minutes and he had no army for five minutes. Um, and how do you know that? Again, it all comes back to your scout. And then seeing as you're, even in fetal age, you can be hovering that scout around and seeing usually military buildings are usually on the outside most of the time. And then you can kind of figure out what he's queuing up. And by doing that, you would have been like, man, I don't see anything. Let's put some pressure on. So that's where that score difference is probably mainly, mainly from. I think he got quite a few kills in, but it's probably mainly due to he got away with a boom and building no army. Yeah, he produced the yeah, yeah. <laughs> GG. I know some of you are probably wanting me to or wanting to look at what else was going on there, but I just don't think. Like I said, I'm um I don't think it would be helpful. Uh let's check out your other game and then I think I'll probably call it after that. Do you was this a good one? Chinese again. Nice, rocking the Chinese. Keep it going. All right, let's hop in. But um, your Dark Ages are really, really good. <clears throat> I think it's a lot nicer in these Arabia spawns. You get your sheep right away. I remember when you, the game would start and you don't see your sheep half the time. <laughs> Chinese Addicted, well, it's a really good sieve. And your your Dark Age is, is really good with it. So there, you got some potential, like... Sometimes people who are going Chinese a little bit too early on with their ELO, they don't really get the <clears throat> the advantage. The, van the advantage with Chinese is carrying that vill and a half all the way through Dark Age. That's one of the biggest advantages. And if you're, you know, 1200, 1300, and your TC's idle, and you don't make use of that advantage, then you're, you're kind of throwing Chinese away. <clears throat> Another thing too is, uh, I know deer is great, but this will slow down your start. I, I'd recommend, I really would recommend with your Chinese games to find your sheep first and just keep your sheep kills really efficient. <clears throat> I know it's really addicting. I understand the, the deer addiction. I love it, but if you want in the long run for the safest starts and most consistent starts, I think you should just stick with more sheep kills to begin with find all of your sheep and then get your deer <clears throat> what you're forcing is maybe one of those perfect starts where you push the deer and it lands perfectly and you get that efficiency those can happen but for now i would just throw that away and kill your sheep find all your sheep first because your sheep are worth gold like i said with chinese you don't want those things stolen the deer can't be stolen and then get your deer a little bit later Let's do a check. Let's just do a little check here. <clears throat> Let's see if you're getting the how much of an advantage. Of, so you're at 11 bills. He's at 10. <clears throat> so again, he doesn't have loom. You do. But I still think you should be at least a full bill ahead here. I think you're just about uh, the same now, which is <clears throat> I think you want to be at least a full bill ahead here. 
And I may be just picking on one game here, or maybe your TC wasn't efficient. Like your last game, it was much better, but just a reminder. Yeah, that one did. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. So let's see, I'm in your spot. I'm checking the sieve. Vikings. <clears throat> Chances are they probably won't go scouts. Although I have seen Viking games with scouts. I know Hera actually like I've seen it. If there's any player I've seen go scouts a lot with Vikings, it's been Hera. So that is a possibility. But usually it ends up being you know man at arms or you know, barracks into a range or something. Not all the time, but. Okay. <clears throat> good. I think this is a good time to see what your enemy's doing, but I think you can kind of, you know, suspect that there could be a man in arms play or a militia play. Uh, for this angle of scout, I think I would just, I'd cut through here. It's a bit too far out. The reason why I say that is just because you do want to find what your enemy's doing as fast as you can. It's not the end of the world. Good uptime again. <clears throat> Just like your last game, this is where I'd uh, fit in or practice getting that second lumber camp up, like maybe here. It's huge, man. I think it will change your game in the long run once you figure out how to balance it nicely. <clears throat> it, uh, I kind of don't know how to explore when I'm at the corner. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know how to explore either once I get to the corner. <clears throat> Yeah, you gotta get that second lumber camp, and, and you gotta... So what do you set up for it? Right now, it looks like you're going for scouts. I'd be surprised if you did anything else, because if you are going to go for archers, this is when you need to trickle on the gold by now. And again, you don't know what's coming. This is the most crucial time in the game, when you need to see what your enemy's doing. Interesting, so you've done this twice now. <clears throat> I think you gotta cut it out. I think if you're gonna do the range, you gotta you gotta get you gotta start trickling in that gold, and you gotta have that second lumber camp up. <clears throat> so you're doing dark age builds where it looks like you're about to go scouts, but you don't go scouts. This is okay, but. I recommend a little bit earlier with two bills, second lumber camp, skirmisher, already a big no-no. Although, okay, you saw a range here. Did you, you probably saw what that was? Yeah. <clears throat> Again, though, opening skirms is a little bit dangerous. It's going to slow down your castle age time. Uh, his early scout could probably pick them off if he puts pressure on. I wouldn't recommend the skirm approach. I'd go straight for <clears throat> archers, skirms, or whatever after. But um, I don't know, maybe it'll work against this guy at this level. Um, but Because he's not using his scout either, right? So, you know. Although if I used my scout right now and I saw you, I would think this is stacked full of archers. So you do have a bit of a surprise factor here, but in the long run. Um, I think you want just to go straight for archers. Straight archers. Uh, or what you could do is you could go, maybe if you're really hooked on skirms and you see their range, you could go two to three archers, send them out, and then start garrisoning two to three skirms. Because then at least you're going to go forward and do some damage, some sneaky damage. And then those skirms will be ready to defend. So I think that's, if you really love the skirms, that might be one way to mix in your skirm play. <clears throat> and that happens in really high level games too. They may pump out a couple archers first and they 
depending on their sieve, and sometimes they might switch to a couple skirms. I've seen it lots. This guy right here, you got to keep an eye on this range right here. You need to see what's coming. Good job. Nothing's in there. He may be on his way. Um, but you may, be, you may be lost the chance to see where it's coming, so you're completely open for that attack. <clears throat> Did you get your... Um, Horse collar, nice. <clears throat> Thankfully, he came at the front, but just be aware of like, imagine, imagine those three. He, he's got a, a tidy base in here by now. He's probably walled up. Yeah, he is. So, but some games you might be able to slip in. You know, three archers maybe forward, and you may have three skirms built up in here, and all of a sudden you exchange. And you end up winning because you got the archers forward and you got scrims. And, and, uh, <laughs> surprisingly, though, surprisingly though, like you're in, maybe not surprisingly, but you're in a decent spot. Just hopefully you got a micro this a little bit here. Ah, uh, micro. I need some micro. I need that fletching. <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay, nice work. Great job. He had fletching. You didn't. Kicked his butt anyways. You even closed your eyes while you did it. I'm impressed. <laughs> this is where you're going to start to notice um, Wood's going to start taking a toll. Same? You got the same setup as before, I noticed. A lot on farms, little on wood and going archers <clears throat> if you're gonna do a setup like this i'd stick with one range and transition into knights but again you need that second lumber camp So, again, with this type of balance of eco, uh, it actually looks very, very good for a night switch. He's going scouts. Wow. So that means his cast switch is probably delayed. <clears throat> I don't know what happened here. I missed it. But um, this is a great time where you could delete that farm, delete these farms, send your archers out, exchange exchange your army somewhere and then you can make a nice switch into knights but after looking at your last game it's got a feeling you're gonna throw down that second range aren't aren't you <laughs> oh, you don't have to be so scared here you got you almost got a better army than him on both ends hey he's still there's your second range <clears throat> there's that vikings equal for you <laughs> Hey, you're getting your second level upgrade this time, that's great. Unfortunately, these guys are costing you a little here. There you go. <clears throat> Trying to play range a bit since I only got gotcha. you. Um, so you saw he had uh, he had archers, right? And Vikings usually th this is a great time to have your ballistics before your second TC. Oh, your second TC is going up. That's okay, but hopefully these guys. You probably tempted to go for another TC, but <clears throat> in the future with this many archers and being up against a sieve like Vikings, where they got crappy knights, chances are higher that they're going archers themselves. You're going to want to rush the ballistics maybe a little bit more. Um, at least in this spot, because you saw archers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Again, maybe just a little bit of lack of scouting, not knowing what was coming. But I know you didn't have your scout again this game. Um, yeah, that eco. 
balance again. Looking great for um for that night for the going nights instead earlier because you go very heavy on farms. Uh, this bad boy right here, you probably want in front here. Yo, fly like Django. Thank you so much for the resub, man. <coughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. I know I'm just zooming ahead a little bit here. I don't know if anything else would be too helpful for me to say. I actually just really care about those few things I said earlier in your early game. Blue guy. Let's go right to the edge of the map, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna just zoom ahead and see, just chill out, see what happens in the game. Then I'm just gonna recap, and then I'm gonna end, end there. Yeah, mainly those things, Callum. Maybe just you could just try one one thing at a time, so you're not overwhelmed. I I think the second lumber camp thing might be really helpful. <clears throat> Obviously, there's a lot of stuff, but getting that second lumber camp and uh, making sure you're using your scout and whenever you do your dark age, it looks like you're setting up for scouts, but then you're actually doing archers, which is a bit confusing. So. <clears throat> You either need to go scouts, or you need just to switch to maybe get two bills on gold a little bit earlier. And I'd recommend going archers. I'd recommend going archers first out of your range, and then transitioning into skirms if you feel like you're behind in archer numbers. <clears throat> so yeah, just just that that main takeaway is that second your, your Chinese charts are really good get those eight cheap first before you push deer <clears throat> I know these are probably maybe some ingrained habits might be hard to break but I'd try get those eight cheap first before you uh, push any deer um, second lumber camp remember to use your stragglers around your TC if you feel like you're not going to reach the wood for your military building because you built the second lumber camp Treat your scout like it's a piece of gold, because it is, uh, so you can see what's coming. Um, yeah, just try that for now. I know there's maybe a few other things, but just those few things. Try your best to not get so stuck in a certain way of playing, because it's, how do I explain this? Because it will be sort of the thing that stalls you if you like a certain way and if there's a sort of a bit of like a stubbornness in there try and let it go a little bit and be a little bit flexible like that there's a chance that you may try the second lumber camp thing once and you're like ma'am I, I don't like my wood eco it sucks and you go back to what you normally do I'd I'd give it a shot you know like give it some time and um <clears throat> You're hooked on what I like about these two games is you're actually very consistent in what you do. Everything looks fairly the same. You get that second range up, sort of like late castle age. You go for your three skirms, and then you add those archers. Um, switch it up a little bit. Try going for the three archers first. Scout him. Send the three archers out. Go for a sneak attack, and then pile up your skirms at home. Let those let those be your safety cushion to fall back on as your skirms. 
but those first three archers can go out and go get some damage done. Try that too. That might be actually quite fun because that works a lot. Uh, yeah, man. I hope it helped. I'm done. I'm done. But um, Dark Ages look pretty, pretty good. Let's just get those eight cheap first.